trying to uh, I've been trying to kind of organize my thoughts and make this prediction because it's kind of a sense that I've had for a little while that this is what's going on. Some of you may know, and if you don't, I'll go ahead and explain this. I actually had a prediction that I made uh, probably been about four years ago now that I first had this uh, image come to me that uh, Iran and the United States ended up in a war with one another and basically it begins as a preemptive attack where Iran attacks U.S. shipping in the Persian Gulf after Iran receives some fairly clear indications that hostility with the United States or with Israel or with both seems to be working, seems to be building. Iran decides they need to attack us in order to get in the first shot before we actually uh, attack them. And I think that they weren't. I think in my in my vision, it seemed like yeah, they were correct in doing that. That uh, and, and by that I mean they were correct in assuming that they were about to be attacked, because uh, it seemed like in my vision that yes, they were. We, the United States and Israel, or the United States alone, or Israel alone, one of this combination, were planning on attacking uh, Iran, and Iran finds out in some way, either that. Or there was some kind of escalating buildup that was happening where uh, perhaps the U.S. was stopping Iranian ships or, or something. There, there was some mechanism there, whatever, whatever the mechanism is. The result of it is, is that Iran finally says, we have to activate this plan and we have to attack U.S. shipping. And that has been uh, a reoccurring image for probably three or four years. And there have been other times that I thought that we were very close to having that happen and I have actually said before I think this is about to happen and it has been a very strong image in, for a while and one of the results of it it's uh, I could I could go into a description about how I think the battle goes and that war goes and all this stuff but that isn't as important I don't think now that's been descri I've described that in other places around the internet um, I'll, I'll describe it more fully another day, but the effect. What's it, what is important now, I think, is is that that timeline is shifting, and that was a particularly nasty timeline because uh, this war was not uh, necessarily a good war for the United States. Uh, it led to a lot of economic trouble because of the closing of the the, the Persian Gulf. Uh, there was a very much a lessening of the U.S.'s. Uh, influence and authority. We would lose some military assets during this war, so there was a military there was a, a military loss that occurred for the United States, and the, the sum result of it was that Iran comes out of it strengthened along this timeline. So basically that seemed like that was, for the, for the longest time, that seemed like that was the predominant possibility, that there was a kind of a sense that the United States and uh, Iran were, were definitely going to have this conflict and it was not going to go well for the United States. The ultimate result of it would be that Iran would end up with nuclear weapons that it would then hand off to uh, a couple of terrorist groups and these terrorist groups would, would organize an attack on the United States and there would be nuclear explosions within the United States. Like I say, thankfully that seems like it is shifting. It's not a 100% guarantee that it will has absolutely shifted. There's still a couple of things that could happen that might actually make it occur, but it seems like it's generally a less, much less of a chance of it happening. And I think the reason it's a less lesser chance of it happening is because there are troubles that are going on in the Middle East right now. We've seen Egypt's government has uh, has changed. We're seeing troubles in in Libya even as I speak. There are Qaddafi's forces are, are apparently uh, attacking rebel forces, and they're kind of pushing back the rebel forces now. Tunisia, Saudi Arabia, I just saw a little thing where they said that Saudi Arabia police had fired on protesters in Saudi Arabia. There's uh, issues in Lebanon. The whole region over there is having turmoil right now. And I don't think that the United States necessarily wants to interject another bit of turmoil into the whole into the whole conflict by suddenly attacking Iran. 
I think that in general this is going to ultimately turn out to be a better situation, but it's going to look like it isn't. It's going to look horrible because I think that Iran is going to test a nuclear weapon sometime this year, maybe the beginning of 2012. So either 2011 or 2012, I expect that Iran is going to test a nuclear weapon. I believe that they already have several, probably somewhere around five or six of them already. But I think they have delayed testing them for probably a year or two years now. I think that they have delayed testing these nuclear weapons because they know that they don't have a deliverable system and they don't have enough of these weapons to actually ensure that if somebody got freaked out about the fact that, oh my God, Iran has nuclear weapons, that they would actually be able to protect those nuclear weapons and keep them well enough hidden to survive an attack. So if they don't show that they have them, if they can keep them hidden in widely separated areas of Iran, which is what I, I think is going on, if they had them widely dispersed and nobody can can pinpoint locate them, and they don't have all their eggs in one basket. It's very hard for them to be, you know, for them to be detected and destroyed. And I think that's what Iran has been doing: is they're waiting until they actually have, you know, a 50 or a hundred. Well, more like about 30, to be honest. That's my my sense of it. When they have about 30 nuclear weapons, then they, or if something else happens that that forces them to go ahead and test one, which is another possibility, then I think that that is the point in time when they will actively decide to to do that. Uh, had a phone call, lost my train of thought. Um, so if this uh, if Iran tests this nuclear weapon this year, uh, like I say, I don't think they had, I don't think they have enough to put on weapons like missiles and feel like they're they're confident enough to put them out there. So I think they do have nuclear weapons. They just haven't tested one. But I think this year they may decide that it's time to go ahead and test one. If they do that before there's any kind of a regular conflict between the United States, well I say regular conflict, it would actually be rather irregular, but if uh, they do that before there's a conflict between the United States and Iran, if they test a nuclear weapon and there has not been war between the United States and Iran, then I think within about two or three years this does not protect the Iranian regime from an uprising from their own people. And they basically get thrown out in about, like I say, about two or three years. Around the time of an election, I believe, is when this would happen. That uh, there would just be a very popular groundswell against what had been going on among the, you know, the Iranian regime. If there is a conflict between the United States and Iran before they detonate a nuclear weapon, then I think that this actually strengthens the regime. They're kind of able to whip up patriotic feelings against the United States and say, hey, we've been attacked by the United States, uh, rally around the uh, Iranian flag, we may be a bad government, but we're the only government you have. There'd be all this kind of patriotic swell of, of feeling there. And they would also be able to kind of funnel a lot of their opposition into the military. They'd be able to, to get a lot of the young men who protest these, you know, the Iranian regime. They'd kind of be able to shuffle them into uh, the military. It wouldn't be as good uh, for the, basically that actually strengthens the regime and it, it actually, as I say, ultimately ends up with nuclear weapons in the United States. So I think that timeline is shifting. I've been thinking about that for a long time. So look for my prediction. I'm making my prediction now. My prediction is a nuclear explosion somewhere in the uh, United States. There may also be a nuclear explosion that happens uh, where North Korea may be testing one soon. Or I have been. I've gotten the idea that there's going to be a nuclear explosion, and it may either be the Iranians testing their nuclear weapon, or it may be the North Koreans testing a nuclear weapon. But if the North Koreans test one, then I still think that sometime later this year, Iran, or at the beginning of next year, will test one. So one or two nuclear tests sometime this year, there's my prediction. <laughs> I'll try to clean this up sometime in the future because that sounded really lousy. <laughs>